by Kashmir and how is India projecting it? In Indian occupied Kashmir, the Kashmiri youth are struggling for their fully deserved, pledged, and internationally recognized right of self determination. That is their right, and they waited for it for, uh, for 40 long years. They struggled for it for 40 long years through peaceful means. And uh, instead of listening to them, India continued strengthening her grip on, on, on Kashmir, the result that uh, uh, Kashmir was left with no alternative but to take to arms, which is not, their, uh, only, not only their right, which was not only the only alternative, but which has been recognized by the United Nations General Assembly under its resolution number 2621, which gives every enthralled nation the right to resort to arms when their peaceful efforts to uh, get their rights fail. And in addition to that, it has been mentioned in the very same resolution that all the members of the United Nations must help such liberation movements. And the third point is that uh, uh, the freedom fighters should be treated as prisoners of war. So far as India is concerned, they are not only crushing this movement, just like the worst of colonialists, just like savages, just like beasts, but they are projecting it internationally on a uh, line which is completely baseless. They take us, dub us as terrorists, whereas Kashmiris are not terrorists, they are freedom fighters. They dub us as, uh, as uh, freedom, uh, these fundamentalists. We are not fundamentalists in the sense that uh, uh, we don't want the, the non-Muslims of Kashmir not to be treated as Kashmiris. Non-Muslims of Kashmir are as much Kashmiris as, as any Muslim. So uh, India's, first of all, India projected Kashmir as a part of India, which is completely nonsense because, firstly, the pledges India had herself given, not only to us, not only to Pakistan, but also to the United Nations about uh, giving Kashmir their due right of self-determination. That pledge has not been fulfilled, number one. Number two, uh, the very map of the uh, United Nations, official map, shows that Kashmir is not an integral part of, part of uh, India. So India's claim of Kashmir being her integral part is completely nonsense. Second allegation against us about India uh, from Indian side is that we are fundamentalists, which is complete nonsense in the sense that uh, uh, even the Hindus of Kashmir are on, on record having said that uh, they can expect more protection from JKLF, Yahoo Kashmir Liberation Front, that's our organization, than from the government of uh, uh, then Farooq Abdullah. They are on record having said that it has been printed in Kashmiri uh, papers. And then there are instances when during curfew, uh, our relief committee preferred feeding and creating uh, uh, non-Muslims, uh, you say, to, 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 to Muslims. And then uh, we have formed uh, uh, a government, a provincial government, which has as many as four non-Muslims. That is in complete proportion, in proportion to the population of uh, uh, non-Muslims in the state. So what makes India, what justifies India, to call us a fundamental uh, uh, movement or, or organization as a white light and completely utter nonsense. What is the level of repression that is taking place in the Indian occupied Kashmir? Well, so far as the level is concerned, I don't think there is any, any precedence to the type of brutality, to the type of savagery, to the type of, type, type of uh, uh, you say, inhuman acts inflicted by Indian armed forces in, in, in Kashmir. Uh, you can, uh, you have uh, uh, reports from, not from us, but from uh, international media when they were uh, allowed over there, they have uh, confirmed that even infants, babies were killed, old, old, old people were killed, and there is, a, there is an instance when a, 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 a bride was raped by an Indian security man before she had first night with her husband. That is the type of savagery, that is the type of brutality. They are not human beings, they are beasts, they are savages. 
the Indian policy uh, uh, forces of occupation in Kashmir. And uh, when India comes out and, and poses herself to be a great nation, it's complete nonsense. What is life like under curfew? Well, curfew has been a continuous process for the last about uh, uh, eight months now, nine months now. Uh, Sometimes they um, do lift it for a day or two or a um, few hours in, uh, in, 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 in uh, uh, a day. But there, were, uh, there was a period when for 15 long days, there was not a single minute you see, uh, break in the Gulf. And you can imagine what type of, uh, what type of uh, life people must have been living then. It was definitely a con uh, conspiracy to kill entire population of Srinagar to... to um, uh,